Big story today is the ribbon cutting for the renovated Citrus Bowl here in Orlando. Now, normally when there's something big going on in this community and everybody is cheering, I'm cheering right along with them. But when it comes to the Citrus Bowl, I can't join in the celebration. I'm sitting on my hands. And why, you ask? I've been railing on the Citrus Bowl renovation since Buddy Dyer came up with his cockamamie idea um, with his big three venues a number of years ago. Uh, to a greater extent, I was able to buy into the arena because at least we have a home team with a magic. And the Arts Center, because it's going to be used 300 days a year and because a lot of private funding went into that by people who put their money where their hearts were and ponied up all kinds of money from their private resources. That's never happened with a Citrus Bowl. I don't even know if they've tried to raise private money from sports fans. But we got a $207 million investment in this renovation. And what do we have? We have no home college team and never will have for the Citrus Bowl. The UCF Knights have long gone to their own stadium in the east side of town. We're never going to get an NFL team in Orlando. So we have a couple of college games around the holiday. We got this weekend's Florida Classic between a couple of Central Florida college teams. And then we got the Monster Jam. We got tractor pulls. And an event here or there. And that's it for $207 million. I've always thought it's an irresponsible expenditure. And it's a real boondoggle, without question. And I don't know of any other city in the country where they're throwing $200 million into a stadium and they have no home football team and no prospect of ever having one. I just can't get on board with the third of Buddy Dyer's big three venues. Sorry, I'm a sports fan, but I'm more a fan of responsible fiscal management and spending the people's money wisely and responsibly. I don't see it in the new Citrus Bowl, and I never have. That's what I think. What do you think? Hey, join me for the next edition of Bud Your Live right here Thursday morning from 6 to 9 on the 50,000-watt front porch where your seat is always reserved. I'll see you then.